What's going on devs? Welcome back to FDev channel. In today's episode we are gonna create from scratch, step by step, a pulsing effect using CSS transform scale. Basically, we will play around with CSS animation, transforming or change the size and box shadow, give it a sensation of motion. Simple yet powerful effect as it will get your visitor attention to the element on the page that you want to be highlighted. I really hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments below where and how you are gonna use this one on your website. If you're new here and wanna really increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. So let's get started. All right, devs, let's start really from the beginning, okay? Really from scratch, step by step. First, you have our index HTML and then a style.css. All right, just two files here. Let's come back here to our index and have our belly plate using Emmet. And down here for the title, let's say something like the title, okay, CSS Pulse Effect Animation, all right. And in here, down below, we need a link connecting our structure to our CSS style, okay. We also need this link from Font Awesome, because we're gonna have one icon, okay. Let me just copy and paste it here. That's the reason, okay. We need this one just for one icon that we're gonna use on our project. Simple like that. Once this is done, now we can move to the body. And down here in the body, we're gonna have just one div. That's it. Our HTML is that simple. Let's have a div with the class of circle. Okay. And inside this one, we're gonna use that font awesome class. Okay. Icon. FAS and FA font volume. Okay, and once this is done, we have the icon. Okay, let me just save this one and just use live server so we can code and see the results in real time. Okay, as you can see, we have the phone on the left corner. Okay, devs, this is all we have for now, this ugly page with a icon, and that's it. So let's give it some style. Let's start with our CSS resets, apply box size about the box to everything. Let's also get rid of any kind of margin at all with margin zero. And in here, let's move to the body. Let's take the body here and let's apply a grayish color. So background color, let's pick a cf d9 df okay and uh, our idea here is bring this icon right to the middle okay this is gonna be quite simple and here let's have the height let's give a height of 100 vh okay you divide this for 100 and use 100 all right display here is gonna be flex so now we can align this in the main and cross x okay First, the cross axis, okay, align at center, and let me save, as you can see, it's right in the middle, and now, I, uh, along the main axis, okay, horizontally, let's go with just five content, center, okay, this used to be hard, but now it's quite simple, as you can see, and now let's create that circle, that one around everything, the one is going to be pulsing, okay, uh, let's start here with a background color. Pick the one you like it, but this one, I picked the green one because it looks like someone is calling you and you have to answer, something like that, okay? Let's pick this color here, this RGB. All right, the alpha here is one. As you can see, it's too small. Let's give it a size. Height here is gonna be 80 pixels, okay? Feel free to mess around with the numbers. And the width is gonna be 80 pixels. And you have a square, okay? But as you know, you can fix that very quickly, okay? Let's say, 
let me keep more space here and here let's say something like body radius 50% and yeah now we make it your round and now we have a huge problem here as you can see our icon is outside and here's the tip let's put it right in the middle with just one line of code okay how first of all display is gonna be a grid the layout and now let's go to that line of code place items guess what center and yeah it's right to the center easier than if you do with flexbox okay i love flexbox but for center stuff grid is just the best let's also apply here a animation let's call that pulse green okay we don't have that yet but we're gonna create that in a couple of minutes okay and uh, it's gonna be two seconds and it's gonna be infinite so it's gonna be all the time all right very quickly before we create that one let's deal with this icon right now the color is not right it's black and too small so let's make a two changes here actually okay the font size here is gonna be 32 pixels let me save much bigger visible very nice and the color let's pick a white color okay so let's say something like uh white smoke okay let's give it a save and yeah now we can move to the main part of the project okay and now let's create our keyframes okay our animation let's just copy this one it's gonna be the name of our animation as you know already let's declare at keyframes and pulse greens okay and here we are gonna have three selectors okay zero another one 70 and another one 100 okay this one this scale is gonna be dot nine so it's the initial size let's also apply a box shadow of zero 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 and rgb rgba here and let's pick the color the this green color here and the opacity initially is gonna be 0 0.7 okay now let's move to the second selector let's move to the 70 percent okay let me just change here instead of zero here it's gonna be 70 percent the scale is gonna change it's gonna be the double of the size okay it's gonna be 1.8 and another thing we're gonna change here is gonna be this opacity it's gonna be dot one okay let's go to the next one the last one 100 percent at 100 percent what is gonna happen the scale here is gonna be as initially dot nine okay and the opacity here is gonna be dot seven and another thing here we have to have here the spread the spread here is gonna be 12 pixels okay and as you can see it's working nice okay you have this nice pulse effect so that's it for today's devs i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video bye bye see you in the next video